Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Persona 3. Today we're gonna hang out with Takanaka because he's available and why not, right? I think we're actually almost done with him. Then I guess we can like focus on uh, Monk Man. I already forgot his name. <laughs> I keep forgetting Monk Man's name. And then the arcade stuff, which we haven't been going to the, a lot because we actually have people to hang out with at night. And so we're like gaining social links a lot slower now. I used to think being accosted by people, uh, I used to, I'm used to being, okay, I'm used to being accosted by people, there you go. But recently, I had an interesting encounter. It was with a young man, not much older than you. Guess what he said? He said, thank you. Oh, really? I don't mean to sound like a prick, but here we go. But I couldn't care less what our customers think. After all, we don't even sell real products. Are you trying to tell me the stuff I've been buying isn't real? You son of a... Uh -huh. Anyways, but then he told me he quit his part-time job and was going to study to become a public pr prosecutor. He wants to punish businessmen like me for bending the rules. I like this guy. He said I was an example of a negative role model, as if. Maybe I'm overreacting, but what if he does become a pu public prosecutor and puts me behind bars? Lord knows what, will they, what they will do to me in prison. Would you still come visit me if I was in the slammer? I mean, no. No, I wouldn't. I would let you just rot there, dog. I ain't gonna go to jail to visit you. I know people that have been in jail. I didn't visit them. I don't even talk to them anymore. They're horrible people. We're rank eight, all right, cool. Maybe if one of their crimes was shady businessman, I might send him a letter, but uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on how shady and pricky they were. I want, the I want the shareholders to know about this. Apparently kids these days aren't as naive as we thought. I mean, yeah. Explains a lot of the businesses going out of, well, business. That and the economy. Anyways, we got a package from Takanaka. Well, his TV show. Are you trying to tell me these max safety shoes aren't real? With a super diet? Well, okay, the super diet food. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, sleep. We're not tired, so study. Even though we're on some break. We want to get back to school with the maximumist of knowledge we can. We are tired now. Actually, are we out of school? Or do we have... Oh, it's Sunday tomorrow. MMO day. Wait, no. We're going on vacation. Right, I want to check that, actually. I want to check the social link notes. Your post-break, uh, post-exam break begins today. Oh. Oh, okay, so we're not going on the break? Right now? Hmm, okay. Hey, Takanaka, what are you selling me today, dog? Mage's Mask. Super die for 40,000. This better be a damn good real item, Takanaka. I gotta check out those shoes, by the way. Like, how good are they? Uh, pretty good. They're pretty good. They don't have an extra effect on them, but they're pretty good in terms of evasion. Also, I think I mentioned this already, but I guess these personas, the ones with the hearts, they will not give me their items until I guess like I finish their skills or a couple levels after I finish their skills. So it's gonna be a long, long time if if I stick with it. I mean, Titan's three levels off. Never mind. This is closer than this dog. So maybe we focus on Titan. Apparently the end game personas, personas like this are like really worth it. But the uh, the early game, which we still are. I mean, we're 30 plus hours into the game already. That's pretty early for Persona game. I think that's one third of the other Persona games that I've... One third of four. Five took me a while, I think. Like it was a hundred and some odd plus. I don't think lengthwise it was as bad as like a Xenoblade Chronicle game. But episode-wise, there was just a lot more stuff to show in terms of, like, story content and 
like interesting side stuff, I guess you can say, compared to Xenoblade. All right, before we hang out with the MMO lady, let's go check our social links real fast. Old couple. They are... Oh, they're writing a letter, right. Online, you're rank seven. Okay. I just want to. I, I just want to see if we had any extra information there. Let's go hang out with her, shall we? It's Sunday, and it's her day. Sundays are her day. I have a Herm persona, right? I don't. Re I don't think I saw the text there. We get points here. Oh no! We're not gonna get any more point. Like uh, level up next time. Crap, I gotta make sure I have a persona. Herm persona. Your trip to Yukashima begins today and lasts four days and three nights. It's time for you to get ready. Get that speedo and get those sandals, because you're going to the beach. There's a yacht. Are we going on a yacht? We are on the yacht. Or is this supposed to be a ferry? Junpei, I'm so sorry. It's all right to be excited. Your friends are just asses. Some of them are kind of depressed of the subject matter of this place, but still. Or not the subject matter of this place, of the subject matter of one of the relatives here. Wow. It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Huh. I don't think that's the name of it. Mitsuru, you have your own maid service? Milady. We are so getting married. And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo vacation home. Thanks. Please follow me. Um, is this the right place? Oh yeah. We're staying. Dude, real life maids. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms it. I mean, I kind of thought the name confirmed it, but all right. Is that Daddykins? Hi, future Daddykins. It's good to see you. Okay, so father-daughter issue? That seems about right. Was that her father? Dude, talk about scary. Nah, he loves me already. He's not gonna make us walk the plank, is he? Is that, a, is that because he has a eye patch? Dog, it's not cool to make fun of other people's disability like that, especially with their daughter right there. Don't be stupid. <laughs> we won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet, this is gonna rock. Junpei, you stay the hell away from the maids, all right? Hey, you wanna go to the beach? It's right there. Dude, this place rules! Come on, let's go. Man, I'm gonna lie. I would love to live in a place like this. What, already? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. Then I'll see you there. Or what are you wearing your shorts underneath? <laughs> you probably are actually. Just a single minute. Oh, don't get changed on the beach. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Like if you don't go behind something. See, Akihiko knows what the deal is. Use a speedo. You swim faster. Yep, summer's here. Darn. There's nothing out there I can use as Also smart on the shirt. Coming from a ginger. You want to do that. You must be joking. We come all the way to the beach and you're gonna train? Why not? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? I can think of a few of his ideas. Summertime at the beach. I've got the perfect activity. Oh, we're gonna build a sand castle? Can we bury you in sand, Junpei? What? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takaba. As you can see, she's chosen a bold design, quite unexpected. That's not bad, actually. That's a good, good little uh, runway model announcer voice. But bold design? I mean, okay, it's a two-piece. I guess that's bold. 
This is like shorts and a bikini. It's not really bold. It takes a lot of confidence to pull off a swimsuit like that. No, it doesn't. I could pull that off. Is that umbrella taken? Also smart. Stay out of the sun. Next up is contestant number two, Fuka Yamagishi. Please don't scare her away. We need her for support. Wow, Fuka. I had no idea you were so... I mean... What? You should wear a swimsuit more often. <laughs> Jubei, what? Huh? <laughs> oh, what was with that gasp? That's right, you hide from him. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Stop that creepy laugh. Yeah. Curve. Our final contestant. Please let her be like wearing like a snow outfit or something. <laughs> Is something wrong? Nah, Junpei's Jun being Junpei. Wow, Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. Yeah, your skin is flawless. Money will do that. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. A little, little, little over the top of the flower, but maybe it's just a pin or something to hold the top up? I don't know. So, which one's your type? The one with the money. Whoa, seriously? <laughs> Mansion and maids. Why not? What about love, Kronos? Don't worry about it. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. Eh, you know. Yeah, I guess. They're teenagers, dog. I mean, you're a teenager too, but still. I thought that was, you know, it's gonna sound insane here, but that little tubey thing he had, I actually thought for a second it looked like a Whalmer from Pokemon. <laughs> And I was going to say, that's odd, because I'm pretty sure that Pokemon didn't exist at this point in time. As if someone is watching you. Is it Junbei? The unfeeling, the uneasy feeling went away. Is it Mitsuru's dad? Does he know that I'm coming for his money? All right, sorry about that. It looks like there are salt and Fuka in the water with water. Junpei, are you... Not you, Pei. Akihiko, are you holding a coat? What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, Mitsuru, how's it going? Isn't this place not? Yeah, it's pretty great. I came here often when I was uh, when I was young, but I don't remember looking at quite like this. Well, like a beach? Hi, Fuka. Kane san help. Junpei's uh, creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's. You like it? You like that, huh? No one can resist splashing girls at the beach. <laughs> I'm gonna splash more water on you. You, hey, you're gonna pay for that. Take that. At least Yukari's getting into it. Fuka, I feel sorry for you. What is stupid? <laughs> okay, I thought you said senpai. I thought you were talking about Masura again. I'm like, this is her place. Or her family's place. I mean, I can... Definitely see you thanking Mitsuru for that, because this place is pretty dope, actually. I mean, yeah, you got save. You were a save point? Go back? No, do nothing. Is there anyone else on the beach that I could hit on? I'm, I'm guessing we need to talk to Akihiko then to get out of here. But he's a save point, too. He should be a save point more often. I'm just wandering. Never play alone on the beach. What if I have no friends, Junpei? What if I went to the beach to find friends and still couldn't? I'm going to play alone. I'm going to build a goddamn sandcastle. And I'm going to leave as the waves ruin it. Again. Uh, is there anything else here? I guess not. All right, let's uh, leave, I guess. Go back. Huh, leaving so soon? Yeah, I guess. There was no one here. I couldn't do anything. I would have loved to stayed. It's 
been a while. I was gonna say you shouldn't smoke in the doors, but this is your house, so what, what does it matter? <laughs> I'm glad you're in good health. Are you off on that huge ass cigar? Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. Oh my God, who are you? That voice. I know that voice from somewhere. Who the hell is that? Oh my God. I can't think of the, uh, where I've heard this guy's voice before. I, I tried looking up a voice actor and I found one, but then the characters I've seen him play it sounded like this. There's a character in some video game that I've heard speak like this before and it's giving me like, I don't know. It's like, it's flashing in my brain, but I, I can't for the life of me think of the game or the character. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I mean, we should have probably told him first. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't hiding it. Yes, you were. Just admit it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. O okay. That has been our guiding principle since the Carrijo family separated from the Nanjo group. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. Especially that Kane guy. He seems like he would be a good son-in-law. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, father. That's gonna bug me all day, his voice actor. Base, didn't you? <laughs> That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I feel like me and him actually do relate because I'm pretty sure I've voiced all of this before coming here. I'm, I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I want their heads. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. To disclose everything. Do you have a slideshow? Yo, oh, PowerPoint presentation, dog. In your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? God damn, bad voice. From what I understand. Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Maybe you shouldn't say that in front of your daughter. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. What? Okay. That's what he was trying to do? So he was insane. Imagine if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. I mean, yeah, it'd be pretty dope. Also very corrupting. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Mmm, Powerball numbers. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Mm, relatable. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth, and it's my duty to tell you. <laughs> Gigantic, you have an actual PowerPoint presentation. Oh my god. Yo, but that ashtray is gigantic. This is the only existing footage of the accident. Ow. Recorded by a scientist <laughs> I thought you were gonna. <laughs> I thought it was PowerPoint. I pray that this recording reaches. 
reach his safe hands. Oh no! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. Ikari, your dad looks ragged as all hell. Therapy builder just keeps on climbing. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success, and so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Probably, probably, definitely should have warned her before playing this. Yeah, Dad, what the His hell? His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. Did you not know? So, that means... my dad caused it all? Yeah, I, I actually feel legitimately horrible for Nikari. Like, it's bad enough having to grow up when your a, a parent has suffered or died like that. It can it takes a toll on you emotionally and like mentally. This would break someone. <laughs> the Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident. It was all his fault. Okay. Yeah, let's not ask stupid questions, you Akihiko. I almost called you Yukiko. So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... She didn't seem to know. I don't want your pity. Um... Shouldn't someone go after her? Yeah, well, probably me, but in a second. Look, you guys not know of subtlety when you break news and shit like that? Because it seems like every time we break news in this game, it's just like, here you go. Here's this awful news. Deal with it. Instead of being like, all right, you know, maybe someone should bring Ikari outside for a minute. We'll tell you all. And then we'll have a professional come in here and explain it to you, Ikari, in the most sensitive way possible. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go. Will you go. Yeah, I'll go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, we don't have to run. We're just gonna be there tired. I believed in him for so long. Much. Yeah. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. I kind of, I kind of put those puzzle pieces together. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. Well, those people are assholes. We even had to move a few times. They're really assholes, like Jesus Christ. That must have been really tough. Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. 
It was from him, written 10 years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I mean, it might be. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. Okay, don't start crying for one. And two, I mean, it's understandable if you want to start crying, but very bad with comforting. Two, though, it's not all for nothing. You're one of the few people that can fight these things. Yeah, that's not true. You're just trying to make me feel better. I mean, yes, but also it's not true. Why does reality have to be so hard? If you find the answer to that one, let me know, because I got some goddamn questions. I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. Yeah, I mean, I kind of felt that way early on, but I'm pretty sure you just had... A hell of a time growing up. I mean, why my father and not hers? I mean, he does have a spiffy eye patch. <sighs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? I mean, I, I've met worse. No, you're not. Don't blame yourself. That's how people are. No, you're not. Huh. Well, you're just Mr. Perfect. I mean, yes. I even have the tights and everything. Nothing ever phases you. Well, I'm... A psychopath. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? You think you know me? I mean, I've tried hanging out with you after school and you just don't do it. You don't know anything. Did that help you? I'm sorry. Did it make you feel better? I oh, had some mess. Yeah. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. This is why I feel like they should not have shown you that video without prepping you in some way. Tell me. What should I do? Uh, don't lose hope. It's okay not to know. Stay with us and fight. I'm thinking. I mean, it probably doesn't matter what I choose, but I'm thinking. Obviously, we want her to stay with her and fight. She's a good healer. She has a group heal. That's awesome. Uh, don't lose hope. Also good advice. It's hard to do, but the best thing you can do is, you know, obviously don't be over overly hopeful. Um, there's a fine line, but you don't want to be, like, completely in the dumps, at least as much as you... You, you don't want to be in there as... I don't know what I'm gonna try to say here. Like, I know it's not always really up to you if you're gonna feel good or not. Unfortunately, the brain sucks and it does stupid shit. But, you gotta try sometimes. It's like uh, faking it to your make it kind of not deal, but it doesn't always work. But it's okay not to know. How about that? Kind. I am pretty legitly awesome. I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents. I keep too. forgetting that. But I'm all right now. I'm used to dealing with stressful. No, situations. you think you are, but it has really molded you into the person you are today. Anyway, thanks for listening. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? No, I think she asked me just to come here. Eh, you know what? I came because I wanted to. Oh, you blushed! Ooh, you're such a gentleman. I am the smoothest of- My charm is max the hell out, Yukari. Thanks. Absolutely give her a hug. Junpei, get out of here! Sheesh, what's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost the dark hour. So I mean, that's that's true. You should probably not be out here during the dark hour. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. 
Did I miss something? You missed the best hug in the world. Bring it in, Junpei. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Wait, what? Well, duh. This because we're you know, awake through it, I've yeah? Been thinking lately. Is that what you mean? Once you awaken to the power of persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. I mean, I guess that's a fair trade. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Hey, not really. You could just leave. I don't want you to. Yep. You're a good healer. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. You want a hug? No, okay. What? You feel something? It's being oh, we're being watched again. We're not gonna. Okay, we're not, not gonna find out who's watching us. Oh, let's guess who is watching us. Uh, Mitsuru's dead. Uh, the the three musketeers that we've been seeing in the dark hour. Uh, Jin and Tonic and the 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 gothic Lolita lady. Um. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> that is that is the list of suspects. Uh, Pharaohs? No, you like the dude can only come out like in the dark hour, right? So not him. I guess he can go in Tartarus, but that's in dark hour too. Huh, the air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. It's, seriously, hiking or like trail pathing is it's like whatever the hell the trail pathing. Going through walk in the woods, it's fun and it can be relaxing. It don't get lost. It no, it's no longer fun when you get lost. I now feel awfully sorry for Fuka for being in this awkward situation. Yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. <laughs> she says it so nonchalantly. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. Fuka, do you want to come hang out with like me? We're probably playing an MMO right now. You get reception in the woods? Wait, what? Like a robot? A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle and an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. So what, it just started up and left? A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. Also, can I have that tank once we find it? Because it seems like it would come in handy shooting things in Tartarus. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? Are we going to be fighting a tank next? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. That is not very reassuring, dog. Great. No one's answering. It's the MMO. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? Uh, beach. Maybe MMO. Maybe sleeping. Beach. Knew it. This says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. <clears throat> We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? Probably because you creeped them out yesterday, dog. That's just not right. 
is your fault. Yeah. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. You look so pissed. <laughs> now just the guys if you're out of ammo you pick it up on the battlefield that's one of the most basic military tactics wait what like spent shells are you talking about like looting corpses we'll call this operation babe dude i got this in the bag my charm is maxed out if i'm not sure if you heard me the five thousand times i mentioned it you mean like pick up girls what do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. <laughs> what do you think about this? Uh, I don't care. Let's begin the operation. Then I'm appointing him our leader as usual. <laughs> what? Why? Uh, Max Strom, that's why. You said yourself this is an operation. Aw, oh, man, that's bullshit! <laughs> uh, you can be my wingman, you bay. You better take this seriously. It's an important operation. What do I have to like? <laughs> oh my god, you're actually here. Whoa, we found some seniority. Senoritas. Senioritas, yeah. Let's go hit on them. Hey, can I save with you? God damn it. Any save points down here? Oh, that's so rough, dog. All right, fine. I like the new music. Okay, that one seems like too young. Beep, beep, beep. Target acquired. Let's move in for the kill. This is your area of expertise, my ass. This is my area of expertise, so lighten up. First off, think of something to talk about, something they might be interested in. Give them an easy question to get the ball rolling. That's the golden rule. Something like, where are you from? Having fun? Pretty soon you'll be tossing questions and answers, uh, answers back and forth like you're playing catch. I'll start things off and you guys, and you can ask the questions, right? Here we go. Hey ladies. I thought we were waiting for them to reply. I guess I'm just gonna come in with, hey, uh, have, have fun. Where are you from? Uh, having fun? None of your business. Yeah, no, that's fair. Hey, no need to be shy. We don't bite. Uh, maybe. Why should we tell you? Come on, cut us some slack. We just want to talk. I thought you said you were an expert. Hold your horses. I'm getting warmed up. Watch and learn. So, ladies, are you in college? Um... Don't tell me you guys are still in high school. Uh, nope, not us. Seriously, you look like high schoolers th from here. <laughs> Sorry, that's a lie. Oh, really? High school kids vacationing in uh, Yukoshima? That's kind of pisses me off. Well, we were invited by our, uh, to our friend's vacation home. Pretty cool, huh? Good for your friend. We, on the other hand, have to pay for our vacation with our hard-earned money. I guess we were just lucky. Yeah, lucky you. What do you want, anyway? <laughs> Came in on you. <laughs> huh? You're pretty bold. Hey, stop giving them compliments and just ignore them. Wait, 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 don't, wait don't do that. <laughs> How can you blame us for wanting to talk to such beautiful women? Huh, these guys are full of shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. Wait. Come on, give us a chance. How about a walk on the beach? You're annoying. See ya, boys. So much for your expertise. Hey, I did my best. What about you, senpai? You, you think you can do better? Come on, show us what you got. Why should I? Well, you're supposed to be the tactical master, right? Isn't your duty, uh, our duty to help each other succeed? Uh, I guess you have a point there. Fine, I'll give it a shot. I'm sure I'll do better than you. Can you give me a hand cane? I'll set the pace, of course. Can you let me save, though? 
All right, well, I guess we'll just have to do that next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below if you're not subscribed yet. When you have my videos, so you can check out some of the content, see if you're liking. If you're just watching me live, I'm at twitch.tv slash chronosplays. Give my channel a follow and notify when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.